Uh, welcome back. And today I'm going to do another pre-dreadnought. Now this one's the Habsburg. Uh, Austro-Hungarian pre-dreadnought. And uh, it actually had a interesting turret layout. It was a it was a slow ship of no I don't know 19.5 knots wasn't terribly slow. It also wasn't uh, no incredibly speedy either. I am going to increase that for the secondary guns. Uh, it was a VTE. Uh, Vertical triple expansion. Coal. Increase that. Give it that. Probably a crop armor. Or cup. Or however you want to pronounce it. I will admit, no, looking at the armor of, of uh, this one, it, it, it's a lightly armored warship compared to other dreadnoughts. Get all this going. Uh, let me go with that. Got that already. Yeah, the belt was uh, actually 8.7 to 7.1, so not, not, not a thick compared to other things. No, not that thick. From what I saw, the deck 1.6. So, and the cunning tower looked really thin, no six inches. From what I saw, turret was 11 inches and didn't have any really information on secondaries and turret top. Now let's get into the design phase here. I'm gonna go the the back one for both. I'll give it two funnels here. Let's see. Sixty five. One hundred. That just looks odd. So we'll do it this way. Well, maybe I can get two of those in. Nope. So I'll go with a large one and a small one. And just do that way. That'll that'll work. Center line guns. It had a nine point uh, something. I, don't know, I was going to round it up to ten inches just to give it somewhat of a fighting chance. It only had three though. It had a twin in the front and single in the back, which is a bit odd. It did have a uh, twelve six inch guns. So is that one two? Three, four, five, six. And then it had uh, ten five inch guns. Not ten three inch guns. My mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six. It won't go on this. Hold on, let's see. There we go. I'm going to get rid of these two. And I'm going to place those two right here. And that should allow me to put these three inch guns right there for 10. And then it had a 
Uh, it's like four or six two inch guns. I can't read my handwriting. So I'm gonna place them like this. One, two, three, four, and if, I'll go with five because I'm not sure. <laughs> can't put one right there. Oh, and torpedo launchers. It did have have two underwater. So there's my Habsburg. And I'll uh, go with this. I'm sure the computer will design something much better, much stronger. Now the, the Habsburg was the first, I think, dreadnought in several years that the Austro-Hungarian Empire built. If I recall, I think as World War I started, they actually uh, they actually put the ships into decommission about 1916 or so for uh, for uh, for manpower. So that they had more people fighting at the front. Okay, come on, let's make a turn here. I'm going to I'm going to manually control the destroyer here. That seems to work the best. Cuz if I don't, it just kind of sails in a straight line and doesn't do anything. Interesting. This destroyer almost looks like it has a low freeboard. 5-inch guns. 4 inch gun, 3 inch, 2 inch. Bet if they could put 1 inch guns on here, they would. Okay, let's speed things up. I always think it's amazing how many funnels the computer is able to put on a destroyer. If I put that many funnels on there, I'd have no room for anything else. Yeah, I figured that they, they were, we were going to lose visibility. And the battleship is making a turn. Yeah, technically in real life these funnels were the same. I wanted to do two like that, but it wouldn't let me. What's my destroyer? 28 knots. Hmm, not too bad. Minimum bulkheads, though. See if that comes into play. Okay. okay. Is that the battleship right there? Yes, it is. Oh, got first hit that did nothing. I mean, what do we expect? Three funnels. Interesting. It's got that French uh, style sloping sides on up. Interestingly enough, I think what the U.S. Navy in their latest one has sloping sides pretty good. Oh, my destroyer got hit hard. Torpedoes away. Yeah, that, what was that, a fort, a heavy, yeah, an 11 inch gun, that'll, that'll do it, but uh, he just got hit pretty good, and we, uh, yeah, 
We uh, traded sinking destroyers. <laughs> See, the computer's making a maneuver like there's incoming torpedoes. But I don't see any. Let's see, what uh, What do we have? 11 inch guns, 5, 4, 3, 2, torpedoes. Yep, much thicker armor. See, my armor is quality 74%, and it is 80. I mean, it, it even got better quality armor. We've got the next version, next one up in terms of armor. This is not a fight that's too fair. I really needed that destroyer. But let's speed it up here, see what happens. I will admit, when it comes to pre-dreadnought battles, this is the one thing I do dislike. I mean, they're, they're interesting to design, they're interesting ships. The battles themselves are not that fun because of the low number of main guns. I mean, my, I forgot to rename it there. I've got three main guns, and he's got four. And we kind of fire back and forth, and that's it. And you're kind of hoping that you do something. I mean, look at that. They're not even locked in. Whereas they're locked. 11 inch guns. Rate of 1.55. 1 1.8. 2.5. I do have a higher rate of fire. We are slowly closing the distance. Although I wish I would lock in. Let's see, minus, minus 38, 34% for hull stability and tower? <clears throat> the ship was that off balance? I only thought it was a slight off balance for like 7%. Not translates into 34%. Hmm. That's not too good. See, I've been hit 17 times for 3 damage. He has been hit 17 times for 12 damage. Hey, we're just uh, racking up the damage here. We're now down to... 3 inch. What just happened? A 10 inch for 7.9 damage. All right. Oh, but I. Oh, he got a torpedo hit. Woohoo! I hit. I hit. I got a torpedo hit. I should not him. <laughs> so excited! I, f I forgot who I was doing. And he's got few bulkheads, so that could be devastating for him. Oh, I just got hit. I don't think I have many bulkheads either, do I? No, I've got standard. Meanwhile, you know we're both just flooding, and there's a torpedo. And 
The AI didn't take much. Oh, it took two torpedoes. Usually the AI at least does something. But, uh... Yeah, nope. That's not gonna be it. That, that's all she wrote. Surprisingly, it wasn't the main guns that did it. It was torpedoes that did all the damage. Well, I had a bad feeling when I when I was looking at this ship, but I was hoping to do something better. Eh, sometimes it just just luck just doesn't go your way. All right, I'll see you next video and have a good day.